And Belinda, you agree with John Hayes that actually immigration is becoming a bigger issue to voters now than even the cost of living crisis. I do. I think it's deeply disturbing that the only thing the British people can rely on to control the borders of this country is the weather. Because if the Conservative Party wanted to stop the boats, they could, as you said, announce a national emergency, mm. raise the elig eligibility of asylum seekers. They could not even leave the ECHR. They could suspend parts of it. But they have chosen not to. They've chosen to tinker around with the illegal immigration bill, Rwanda, and millions off to the French, which have not impacted the numbers. And I think it's the same across Europe, Dan. A recent poll from Eurobarometer has said that 20 out of 27 EU nation states have put immigration as the number top, top concern, whereas the seven states have put terrorism as their top concern. So this is a mm. European problem. We're fed up of having to pay for our leaders' mistakes and inability to put the interests of their citizens mm. first. Carol Malone, you have lost faith with Rishi Sunak mm. on this too. You say he's become a parody of himself. What, what do you mean? Well, in, in the sense that, you know, he keeps on saying, we will stop the boats. Every week he says, we will stop the boats. He's doing absolutely nothing to stop the boats. There is no real deterrent for any migrant. It's, there's nothing to stop any migrant in Calais from buying a ticket and getting on one of those boats and getting over here. You know, there are two ways he can stop the boats. I think he can either turn them back or he can leave the ECHR. I don't believe he has the guts or the stomach for either of those things. You know, those 15 dinghies that came on Saturday, it was, mm. like, it was like a blooming ferry service. Mm. You know, literally a ferry mm -hmm. service. And, I, you know, and, I, and I, I just read today the, the shocking... I mean, I don't think... Is, I don't, the one thing I don't agree with Belinda there, everything else, but the thing... I don't think it's as serious as the cost of living crisis because that affects everyone daily and by the hour. This doesn't. This this affects them, you know, it's, you know, gradually over time. However, I do think it's true that the Tories will lose the next election unless Rishi sorts this out. And so far, he's doing nothing mm. to sort it out. We, you know, we read today that that. The, the Home Office are dealing, the ineffectual Home Office is dealing with 215,000 asylum claims. 41,000 of those have been rejected. Mm -hmm. They have been told there is no other legal avenue that can go down. And yet, we can't even send that, those people mm -hmm. back. Even though they have no legal right to be here, we have decided they have no legal right to be here. And yet Rishi doesn't have the means to send them back. Now, that is going to infuriate people. It mm. infuriates me that, you know, you can't keep repeating this mantra and doing nothing about it because the Tories will lose the election. And to me, they're just walking into oblivion. Benjamin, isn't it time for Rishi Sunak to declare a national emergency? and actually show folk that he takes this seriously. Potentially, he needs to send in the Navy. I mean, he doesn't take it seriously. That much is evident, right? You know, they've been... He's been trumpeting only a week ago the fact that numbers had fallen, and yet now it's clear that that was because it was rubbish weather. As soon as we had a heat wave, a sunny weekend, they were all coming over here, and every one of those dinghies is a tragedy. That's what everyone can agree. I think he's going to regret putting so much emphasis on this because all he's doing is emphasising the government's failure. Yeah. He's now processing, the government's processing about 2,000 claims a week, which is significantly faster than it was six months ago. And they want to increase that to 4,000 by October. But basically all of those applications are being approved. And so yes. I can understand why Conservative voters will be pretty angry because they're effectively giving an amnesty, which is probably going to bring more yeah. votes in. It's an amnesty in all but name. I was speaking to Mark White, uh, our Home Affairs correspondent, uh, earlier, Belinda, and he said that, look, France is doing a little bit more. So the numbers are slightly down. But the fact is, slightly down ain't good enough. So it's I'd, not stopping the boats. I slightly question that, because what happens is they may well stop migrants going from a particular beach and mark it off mm. as how many they've stopped. They're just going to run around the corner and go off Which to another beach. Which is what's happening, It's really, not yeah. stopping them permanently. So I'd be, I'd be a little bit more careful over those, those figures. I think 500 million for uh, just mm. delaying the journey of a migrant boat, which is, I think, mm. all that the French is doing. I mean, they're doing that all. Well, and the figures are underestimated, back. Carol, anyway, aren't they? Well, yeah, and the French are doing something. What they're doing is escorting the boats <laughs> to, to British waters and letting our border force bring them here. You know, it, I mean, Rishi is making a fool of himself. You know, there is a way he can save the Tories come the next election, and he's not doing it. It's Because everyone is looking at him and thinking, you make these promises that you... Mm. It's not even that 
Putin is trying to keep them. He's doing nothing no, no. to keep them. Absolutely no. nothing. But I think if they were serious, they would have legal routes for people to come into this country and would accept the numbers that we're going we to take legal so that you can integrate them into we the economy. We do have legal routes. We have legal But Benjamin, are you genuinely talking about opening us up to... What, 90 million people who are displaced around the world? I mean, you've got to be practical about this. We have yet a health system under the most serious strain. We have no homes for our own people. Those problems are not because of refugees. Those problems because are because of poor neglect. And that's why, going back but to by the, the way, falsehood of your way, do, monologue... Do you accept, Benjamin, though, that... We're largely, on the whole, not talking about refugees when it comes to never the folk shut up about who are in the no, boat. We're talking about, no, no, we're talking about economic, economic. Even the illegal EU migrants. Even the EU has said that it's the vast majority of economic migrants. If they weren't le legally refugees, then you wouldn't have a situation where more than 80% are accepted, yes, oh, more, than 90 more than 90% are accepted from they're Afghanistan, just, Syria, Yemen. You just said it before they're passing everyone through. Yeah, even because they're they, trying to process quickly and make it look like that. Even when they have their asylum claims uh, refused in France. This is the, the Home Office yes. has admitted we take so many in that yes. have had their asylum uh, cl uh, claim. Do you know well. what's really galling for the British people? This for these 41,000 who've been told they shouldn't know, they've been told they shouldn't be here. The British taxpayer is still supporting yeah. those 41,000 people. It's, it's not, right. not fair. I, I think the Benjamin. government would be better to be honest that they're going to take these people in and to take them in at France rather than putting their lives at risk. I think that way you'd have a safer border crossing, fewer deaths, and we'd get Baron the workers France. that we need. But we're in a first world country. But you just they, said should we take 90 France. million people. If we took your argument, you would have countries like Spain, Italy, Greece taking an unbearable brunt of these refugees. Britain should take refugees we should alongside the other Jeez, Ben, the majority are we not do. refugees. Well, the law we disagrees. We, we, well, well, no, we take, we take tens of thousands of refugees. I mean, in fact, look at our latest in yes. immigration figures. Not many figures. women and children. We're, we're taking over a million. But most of those were from Ukraine and Hong Kong. Well, some were. Some and, were. and The obviously, biggest proportion. Obviously... We are taking our fair share of people, but the oh, reality is... It's OK is from Ukrainians, but not from the Arabs in Afghanistan or the black people from African countries. Young men with no, no, I'm making the point that the vast majority of people who are crossing the are channel economic are economic migrants from countries like Albania.